My people, it don't happen. No wonder shall never end. My people, my people, Oba Sojourn no agree enter also. Hey, hey, a lot of people feel say Oba Sojourn don't enter house as Tinubu don't become president. No be smart, Tinu. You know. A lot of people they talk say Oba Sojourn they get sleepless nights. Say Oba Sojourn don't enter house. Say Oba Sojourn don't they get sleepless nights. Based on say, you know, expect say one Yoruba person go become president. After him become president, my people no be smart, you know. Oba Sojo don't come as I say, upon say they don't sweat in Nubu, he say, all those who are no concern, Amu, say the one way in the talk right now, be say, the process will be say to Nubu to enter, it must be clear. He say, he still stand by Peter Obi, he say, no shake, you know, he know they turn, he know they turn back because say, Natinubu Nikon day in command of everything for Nigeria right now. Now, a lot of Yoruba people don't fair drag Oba Sojo. See, Oba Sojo, the jealous Tinubu, now make the run, they follow Peter Obi. Say, Peter Obi, they say Oba Sojo, the supporter. Not knowing that uh, Oba Sojo, they use Peter Obi, they fight Tinubu, based on me, Tinubu for no reach that position. My people not be smart, you know. Oba Sojo don't come grant interview, don't send message, you. Oba Sojo come outside with a full chest, oh. Don't come outside, come break the table leg. Don't come outside to come let us know. Say, he know they shake, oh, he know the person will be say, make it come the pack and talk the chop, oh, he no get where in the eye they go. See, this Nigeria now for all of us. Nobody will come use power till they oppress one person. Now, Obaso, you the talk, say, he no change every decision will be say, he make before Tinubu become president. Say, he still stand Gidigba. Now, a lot of people they feel say, Tinubu. They do it. If they go one by one, say very soon, you go reach Obasanjo turn. A dear Tinu Obasanjo go no say power pass power. My people, I go like me kuna go hear from Obasanjo. Me kuna hear what Tinu Obasanjo talk about the swearing in of Tinubu. Where they talk say the process will be said Tinubu to enter. It must be clear or else no backing off for my people. Me kuna go listen to Obasanjo. You were very. Well, no, 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 because, I'm not going to talk about it. Yes, it's, uh, it's because you said uh, he then went to uh, uh, look for alternative funding. Yes. So alternative funding for whom? For the state or for himself or for his, the state and himself? Why was Peter Obi so important to you? You know, you stood. It's not Peter Obi that is important to me. It's Nigeria. You see that the mm. type of things that you people do and say that annoys me. Okay. Okay. Peter Obi is not the issue. Okay. Nigeria to me is the issue. Mm. Okay. Mm. Tell you know, when you say you know, Peter Obi is uh, Peter Obi, Peter Obi, Nigeria. So it was because of Nigeria that you thought this was the man. Yes. Right. I, for Nigeria, that I believe we need to have mm. at this point in time, mm. Peter Obi is still Peter. the man. That's all. So did any of your successors impress you in any way? Any of them? Yaradua? Oh, you see, again, that's the type of thing you people say. Mm. Hey, look, I don't have a hero mm. except Jesus Christ. And I said even with Jesus Christ, mm. the man aspect of him is not perfect. Mm. Okay? But there are certain things that you may have. Take Mandela. Mm. How can you stay in prison for 27 years and still have no grudge against those who put you in prison. Mm -hmm. I believe that is extraordinary. Yeah. That yeah. is extraordinary. Yeah. And I will respect him eternally for that. Mm -hmm. But the other aspect of his life that I will not accept. Right. Okay? So that, that goes for uh, anything. Mm -hmm. uh, if you if you take any man, there may be certain aspect of life. But I don't have a hero. Right. Yeah. No, I have to ask this, sir. Why was it so important to you to go back to school? I, I went to school first. I want to show by example that there's no li age limit mm -hmm. or position limit to education. So, if I have been mm, president of Nigeria. And at the age of 80, I'm pursuing formal education. What will you say at the age of 50? How old are you? 38. 38? Yes, sir. At the age of 38, uh -huh. you are still a, a, a baby. 
and they're not going to school. Um, so I, I think there's that uh, on a serious note, that uh, aspect. On the other hand, I chose to study Christian uh, theology. Yes. Um, because I want to learn more about God mm. so that I can worship him better. Mm. And anything you learn about, you will understand it and mm. Mm. take steps to notice of it or do whatever you need to do about yeah. it. Yeah. No, 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 that's all. Mm. And I, I, I enjoy it and it was good for me. And, uh, what do you think is going to happen to Nigeria under eight years of President Bola Tinobu? Will we succeed? I will not, I will not uh, comment. Okay, that's fine. I figured that, but I had to ask. What is the legacy that you most want to be remembered for? Mm. That I came here mm. and God was uh, immeasurably kind to me mm. and showed his grace on me. Mm. And I thank God for that. Thank you so much for, for the for the pleasure of your time. This has been an incredibly enlightening session. Thank you, sir. And thank you very much. Thank you. For being, uh, what do you call yourself, obdurate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you, sir. What do you think? How do you respond? Does it feel gratifying or does it feel exaggerated? You, you know, people are entitled to make comments and remarks. Mm. Uh, there are no two people in the world who have had the same experience. Right. None. Even if they are twins, their experiences will be different. At least they won't marry the same woman. <laughs> and. Uh, um, their experiences are bound to be different. Uh, I thank God the opportunities that I have had, both local, mm. continental, mm. and global, that have made me to have the advantage of meeting and sharing views and um, actually interacting with some of the best brains and best achievers mm. in the world, mm. whether in the field of politics, in the field of religion, in, in whatever field, mm. diplomacy, business, agriculture, whatever. To me, it has made me humble that uh, but that uh, it has also made me to continue to thank god for allowing me to have such opportunity right. which has meant a lot in my life right how so how has it meant a lot in your life oh the impact mm. that the interaction with these people right. i learned a lot from them right a lot does it hurt when you find somebody, Yes. I mean, I'm talking in this case about, let's say, let's use an Everfire example, you find a talent, you elevate the talent to national prominence, mm -hmm. while the person is in office, mm -hmm. the person sings your praise, says, look, anytime, any house I demolished, Baba gave me the full authority, full political will, it is he, and then you are no longer in power, <laughs> and the music changes. That must hurt on a personal level, doesn't it? Why no, you it, used does, to it, does, it doesn't hurt me at all. Um, it doesn't, it, 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 you, you see, if you expect praise from human beings, even the one that you have done good to, hmm. you will be the unhappiest man in the world. If it comes, accept it as bonus. Hmm. But whatever you do, do it and be ready to defend it before God and man. Mm. If uh, there's need for you to defend it before man, yes. If there's need for you to defend it before God, mm. well, you wait until you get to God's kingdom. Yeah. Uh, either before you get to God's kingdom, whether you will go to hell or go to heaven, <laughs> you know. 
Uh, but on a serious note, don't expect praise or commendation from any human being. Mm. If it comes, accept it. Mm. Don't be proud of it. Take it as well. Um, uh, it, it's like the ten lepers. Ten lepers. Ten lepers they were uh, cured by Jesus Christ just by saying, look, go and show yourself. Mm. And one of them said, ah, look, ah, it must be because this man who said we should go and show ourselves that, that. So I will go back. Mm. Nine others did not go back. Only 10%. So if you do good and you get commendation, uh, gratitude mm. from 10%, mm. then you are doing as well as Jesus Christ has done for himself. <laughs> right. So you have to get used to it. Yeah. Now, you have to. Uh, if you get more than that, oh, yeah, you are on top of the world. <laughs> but uh, what must be yeah. your guiding rule is, look, what I'm doing, mm. can I defend it before God? Is my conscience clear? Mm. Am I clear in my conscience? Yeah. Can I defend it before God? Can I defend it before objective human beings? Mm. Mm. Objective human beings. Right. And if you can, go. your conscience is clear. I always say that. This also comes to leadership lessons or what you would consider. When the interview reports came out of some of those big, these were big acts that you did. Mm. And I'm just using an example where you went to the bomb blasts yes. in Lagos. You yes. visited, people didn't yes. expect it. It was a yes. gracious, big leadership act. Yes. Yes. And then when they began to attack you with questions, mm -hmm. you answered by saying, I was not supposed to be here. People said that was lacking in empathy. When no. you look back, do you no. wish you had to say something? I don't regret that. Right. That's, look, there's no thing in the constitution that says <laughs> when there's a blast, I should go there. Mm. As I always say, I was going around to states, mm. both as military head of state and as uh, a president, right. to see what is going on in the state. But there was nothing in the constitution that says I should do that. I thought I'm not, I wasn't supposed to be there. Mm. If I've chosen to go there, then that's part of my character. Right. And if you don't appreciate that, that's entirely up to you. I'm not supposed to be there. I'm not supposed to. Now, you ask me, you want to interview. I'm not supposed to uh, say, yes, willingly I will answer you. I, I can say, it's my choice. So, and if I say, oh, you have come, all right, I will give you, I will grant you interview. Mm. You appreciate it, all well and good. You don't appreciate it, all well and good. Right. But I am not, uh, uh, there's no, compulsion mm. that I should answer, uh, I should give you, I grant you an interview. Is there? No. Okay. Well, it's the same thing. Yeah. I can never forget the image. You wrote uh, one of your famous letters. You wrote a letter to Good Luck Jonathan mm -hmm. at the time. Mm. What did I say in that? <laughs> Essentially that his leadership was feckless in summary. In was some, uh, feckless. His leadership was ineffective. You yeah. Know? Mm. And he was away from the reins. And I'm assuming obviously you still stand by that. But then a week after, there you were at the reception for his daughter's wedding. Well, you see, again, that part of what you people don't understand. Yeah. Uh, there's a difference between my social relationship with you mm. and my relationship with you as far as Nigeria is concerned. Mm. You know, I, I still hold that position. And all, the, all the position I hold with uh, Buhari. But if Buhari, on the 1st of January this year, Buhari phoned me uh, and, and say, wishing me uh, Happy New Year. Oh, I say, Mr. President, uh, I really appreciate this. We didn't do that before. And uh, I said, well, look, Mr. President, I want to wish you rest when you... Uh, give up at the, uh, this year. I also want to wish you recuperation and maybe you will have good time to reflect. 
Mm. And I said, look, when you, rest, uh, you, you settle down, I didn't know whether he would settle down where. So when you settle down and um, you let me know, I will even come and pay you a visit. Mm. And he said, oh, will you? I said, I will. And that, uh, what he had done or uh, undone about Nigeria is on record. Even if you want to whitewash it, the amount of white paint that you will need to wash uh, what is deeply black, mm. and then you want to turn it to deeply white. Mm. Uh, doesn't work that way. Yeah. Well, some people cannot uh, separate that, which is unfortunate. Mm. Yeah, that, well, uh, if you are my son and you do what is wrong, mm. uh, you will be punished. But I'm seeing your father. If you take me as your father, uh, if you decide that, look, um, you don't want to take me as your father anymore, that's your lookout. But people have said, sir, that you are vindictive. Mm. President Bola Tinubu said when he was governor of Lagos State, he has said this many times, mm -hmm. that you frustrated his attempts at um, revenue and actually inspired him to now begin to generate revenue internally, that you wanted to cripple Lagos State. And no, that's, that's absolute nonsense. Right. No. I go by constitution. Right. The constitution of Nigeria, which is also enshrined, recognized local governments, mm -hmm. And then for me to release fund to look at government, it has to be on the basis of 20 local governments. Mm. When you then add, is it 37 or 27, whatever, to that, for me to be able to act constitutionally, mm. the constitution of Nigeria has to change. Mm. For as long as that constitution did not change, then acting along not 20 local government, but 57 local government is unconstitutional. Right. So if he doesn't know that, then he doesn't know anything. Right. Okay. But what do you say to that challenge? So is it that one that make him to have uh, alpha beta? Huh? <laughs> right. So on and the chat, did you answer that? I, I, yes, I, I, it's a question for him to answer. So okay, it's well. a question for President Tinubu to answer about Alpha Beta. But the charge of vindictiveness, what do you say to that? People have said it more than once. You know, mm. Alam Yeseka has said it, oh. Ibori had said it. No, well, these people, let them give you chapter and verse. If Ibori has said it, mm. I, I hope he has not, but if you say he has said it, mm. what happened to Ibori? EFCC investigated the body and they found the body has misappropriated about $200 million. Yeah. And they brought the report to me. And I said, Ebori, come, look at the report. Okay, assuming you have spent, wasted uh, $50 million, go and give EFCC $150 million. Mm. Then he came back and said, okay. Uh, My people, now the video now on a new watch for this. So, on a see what it happened for inside the video. All right, my people, I go like to end the video for you. Make you let me know what it on a thing for the comment section. And if you are never subscribe, make you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't go miss any latest gist we and you upload. And those of you that will be seeing, I never follow my Facebook page, make you follow so that you don't go see miss any latest gist we and you upload. And I'm about to come on our next time. Bye, guys. See you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.